Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to study what's called the box folding problem. So in this problem, you've been given, say, a piece of cardboard. Uh, in this case, we've been given one which is 5 by 7. And we want to cut out the corners so that we can fold it up into a box. So let me draw what I mean here. So say I'm going to cut out the corners, and they're all going to be the same size cuts. So I cut out these corners. And let's say each of the corners is going to have a cut of size X. So these are all X by X cuts. All right. And so I'm going to cut these out, and then I'm going to be left with these sort of side panels. And I want to fold those up into a box. So let me just draw what that's roughly going to look like. So this will be the middle area. And then you're going to be folding up those side panels. And when you fold them up, you get these nice walls. Okay, so you get a box. And that box is going to have this, this base part in the middle. That's this bit. And then those, those purple side panels, that's right, what's making up the sides of your box. Okay. So uh, what I would like to do is make the these cuts so that the box I get in the end has maximum volume. So in order to do that, I'm going to actually figure out a formula for the volume that depends on the size of these cuts. So we know that the volume is going to be the area of the base of your box times the height of the box. So if we want to get the, the base, say, well, it's going to come from this original picture on the left. And let's see here. So I need to know how wide this box is going to be in the end after I do the folding. It started with length 5 along that side, but I got rid of x on one side, so I subtract x, and then I got rid of x on the other side. So in total, the length is 5 minus 2x. Okay, now on the left side of the box, see how long this stretch is? It started as 7, but I got rid of, again, x from the top and x from the bottom, and so in total, I have 7 minus 2x in length. All right, so if I head over to this box, I can plot that the length of the, uh, the side is 7 minus 2x, and the length of this base here is 5 minus 2x. Okay, now how about the height? So the height of that box, well, it's how much I fold it over by, right, which is exactly this distance, which is x. So in total, my volume is going to be the area of the base, which is 7 minus 2x times 5 minus 2x times the height, which is x. All right. So before we graph this, uh, let's make a quick note about the domain of this function. So we note, if I don't cut a corner out, then there's no way for me to fold this up into the box without overlapping things, which is not the problem. All right, so I'm not allowed for x to be zero because then I really won't get a box. All right, all right, so I need my x to start at greater than zero. All right, now what's the, the most I could make x? Well, you notice on this short side, the five, if I cut all the way to the middle, well, then I'm also not going to be able to fold up anything. I've just gotten rid of an entire side. So folding all the way to the middle is no good. So I need the domain to not include two and a half, right? That's halfway across five. So my x can only lie between zero and two and a half. Okay, so just good to keep in mind when we're looking for maxes and mins. Now, let's move over to a graph of the function. So I've plotted here in Desmos, v equals 5 minus 2x times 7 minus 2x times x, and we'll turn that on. And you remember, I don't want to go past 0 or 2.5, and you can see on the graph that when x is 0, the volume is 0, because there's no box. And when x is about 2.5, you also see it crossing 0. So in fact, I don't have to go past that either. So what I'm looking for is the max point, and you can see up here, at the very top, just before 1, maybe, 
maybe just before one. Let's see. Let's see if we turn that picture on. There we go. We see a, a little dot. That should be the max, and it looks like it's right about 15 in terms of the, the volume, right? That's the output, and it occurs just before one. I'd really like to know what that number is, and I could zoom in a little bit. All right, let's see if we can zoom, 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 and well, it's definitely between 0.9 and 1. I'd really like something super accurate, all right? But as far as looking at the graph, this is about as good as I'm going to do. 